Yo guys, welcome back to another defense video. Today, we are covering the most important concept or mechanic of defense, the defense shape. So quickly, visit u 7 bycom and get some cheap, safe, and reliable FC coins and get yourself Team of the Year the 97 overpowered Erling Haaland. Use the discount code DRFC for 6% off, link in the description. Keeping the team shape it means defending in a way that every player on the pitch is in his or her position according to the formation you're using. For example me, I use 4-4-2. I defend making sure that my back four are always in their positions, the full backs defending the wide area, as well as the two center backs are defending the middle area. Then the two midfielders the same story. Let's first look at the disadvantages of defending with a disorganized defense shape. The number one disadvantage is too much open spaces in your defense. Here the opponent will have many open passing options and also spaces to take advantage against you. When one defender is out of his position he leaves space, and this triggers the opponent's AI player to exploit that space, creating that deadly passing opportunity and good opponents will punish you for that mistake. So let's see how you can maintain the defense shape solid and organized. Number one is to stop dragging players out of their defense positions. When defending, you have to make sure that every defender defends according to his position of the formation, use, and most especially the back four. Don't use a center back to defend in a midfield unless when it's necessary. Some players will drag this center back and use him to defend in a central area despite seeing the midfielder is available for that role. In fact, you can even drag that defender back to his position if you realize is out of position. Like here, as you see my back four is not organized because this fullback is out of position. When I see the opponent dribbling safely avoiding this pressure from this center back and controlling, and I also see my fullback running back. So before switching to this fullback, I first push this center back to his position, then I switch to the fullback and try to defend the situation. Here is the perfect example. The opponent passes to his striker and am also controlling the center back trying to defend one-on-one. -on -one. But as the opponent passes the ball to another striker, I realize that my back four is not well organized. So before switching to this center back and defend one-on-one -on -one against the striker, I first run back with this defender and drag him manually to his position. Then I switch to this center back and defend the situation ending up winning the ball back. Another way to maintain the team shape is to avoid exchanging defenders to different positions. If your defense shape for example back four, let me say you have Sergio Ramos and VVD. Don't move VVD from his side to defend on the side of Ramos unless it's necessary. You have to make sure that every defender defends the ball in his team formation position. And to achieve this, you have to master player switching. We have a video explaining that concept well. Check the link in the description. So if the opponent is on the wing and you're defending using your fullback, and the opponent attempts to recycle the ball or moving back, if you have your winger available, again, don't drag this fullback and exchange positions with this winger trying to keep the pressure on. Switch to that winger and defend with him. This means that to whatever position the ball moves to, and you have a player available, quickly switch to that player and defend. Another way to maintain the team shape organized is to defend involving everyone on the pitch. Some average players tend to ignore some players while defending for example wingers, strikers, and sometimes fullbacks. Every player on the pitch has a defense purpose as we shall see in the next upcoming video. So try to give the opponent hard time while defending by involving every single player. Here is a simple hack I use while defending. This happens when the opponent has the ball in the middle. So here try to always involve your fullbacks and defend rather than rushing to select your center backs. Here you're giving your center backs freedom to remain in their respective positions. Me, I would rather force the opponent to attack through the wing than in the middle. Like in this quick example, the opponent has this striker drifting wide towards this space. Even though I'm controlling this center back early enough and I can intercept this pass immediately. But I have a feeling that this striker will use his body and shield off my defender and get him behind. So I quickly select this fullback using the right analog switch. Then I move in towards this space and I tackle winning the ball. Another way to maintain the team shape is to be careful while using the second man press. The second man press is a very powerful tool while defending, but if used wrongly it can disorganize your defense shape by dragging a defender out of position if you're not observant enough. We shall have a tutorial about the second man press and how to use it. Here is an example of the opponent using the second man press wrongly. First of all, he's controlling this midfielder and at the same time using the second man press with this fullback. And as you see, the fullback is dragged out of position. So I pass quickly and exploit the space open by dragging the fullback out. And 
and now he's controlling the fullback, but also second man pressing using this center back. I see my striker making this run to exploit the space this center back is opening. I pass quickly, get the ball to that striker, and punish the opponent. So when using the second man press, you have to be aware of the player selected, for example when you're defending the wing and use it, but you realize it's a center back, you have to immediately release the button and defend normally. What if everything goes wrong and you accidentally or knowingly drag a defender out of his position? We all know it's very difficult to maintain that defense shape organized for the whole 90 minutes of the game. When you drag a defender out of position, don't feel low and panic seeming that the game is over. No, still you can defend even if you have dragged a defender out. You can use a player in a wrong position, but in a right moment. For example, if you drag a fullback out of position, Again, don't be like, let me chase with this very fullback because the opponent is attacking through the wing and the fullback is supposed to defend the wing. No, that is BS because this fullback is out of position and you have open space. Here we use the nearest center back, a defend the wing area for the fullback. But another big mistake average players make in this situation is to again overcommit with this center back trying to press the ball holder or covering space. When defending situations like this, don't overcommit with this center back. Your purpose is to just delay the opponent's attack and and give time for your fullback to recover. But if the opponent tries to commit towards the byline, that's the moment you also commit and challenge one-on-one. -on -one. Let's have this example. I mistakenly dragged away my fullback and open up this big space, and now my back four is not organized. I see the opponent sprinting to exploit this space, and immediately I switch to my center back. So here my job is to just sprint back and delay the opponent's attack to give time for this fullback to recover. But the opponent shows me he's just sprinting towards the byline with no intentions of cutting back. And that's why I also approach and win the ball back. So guys, that's it. We're gonna have a video on how to understand what to defend in every situation. If you liked the video, drop that like button and we see each other in the next video. Take care.